This program is brought to you by Express Employment Professionals, respecting people, impacting business. Located in Durango, serving the Four Corners area. It's Steve Barr's turn to open. And like this sign he made says, there's lots of fine furnishings inside. Steve and his partner opened the gallery last August. Rod Hubble, he's the painter in the gallery, um, has brought in quite a few people because he has a reputation already. And between his paintings and my furniture, we felt like we were making almost like a home-like atmosphere. Steve creates all things wood in the gallery. He designed and built the furniture, including the beautiful chests and tables and even the display cases. I made that for, it's a, Lou Manzella is the jeweler and I made that for a couple of weeks ago. So what I do quite often is I'll, I'll take a, a relatively thick board, cut it in half down the middle, and you open it up and it's called book matched. So if you see the patterning, it's the same board cut in half. And Steve joins all of these beautiful pieces of wood together without driving a single nail. And he makes much more than furniture. Unusual things like this glowing lamp. Beautiful things that hold other beautiful things. He's even inventing things that are beautiful and practical. So this is a prototype I made for a restaurant in Vegas. And what you would do is you'd put whatever appetizer or dessert on it. You'd put all of them in here. You'd lift up. You'd bring them to a table. You'd put it down and you lift up. So it's a very specific tray. In his solitary desert workshop, Steve makes furniture the old-fashioned way. Start with the back here. This is a mortise and tenon. This is a mortise here. This slides into it. I have a raised panel. Um, so what happens is this little notch slides into a groove along here. Each fitting is different, every joint delicately shaped to create a unique design that's built to last, unlike most modern furniture. They're made quickly, they're made with materials which will expand and contract. They don't last very long. My pieces should last 100 years if they're taken care of. They should be products that your grandchildren can have, that your great-grandchildren can have. Recently I had a couple come in, they were Native American, and the guy comes up to me and he goes, can you make me a box? He said, I'm a medicine man. If you want to leave something special behind your great-great-grandchildren can remember you by, Steve Barr wants to make something for you out of wood and spirit. He wanted a handle like a briefcase to rotate. And I'm very pleased with that. <laughs> with Steve Barr in Farmington, New Mexico, I'm Brian Gill.